Hi guys, welcome to Pimmy's Handcrafted Soap. How's everyone doing today? My name is Poi, and today we'll be making the soap that I call Dark Lavender. I've made this recipe before in Thailand, and it was selling really well when I was there. Um, so essentially, the recipe I'll be using is attached down below. It's not my original recipe. I got it from SoapQueen.com or Brambleberry.com. I'll attach the link to the original recipe down below also. I made a few tweaks to it to my liking, and I'll put that below also. So this batch is really quite simple. I am making a double batch of um, the recipe and here's my molds. You've seen these before if you have watched me before. And I'll be swirling the design with a hanger tool that I have here. So it's going to be a hanger swirl soap. Um, the main color of this batch will be activated charcoal which is black. I'll be using this one right here. I got it from Elements Bath and Body. And I like it a lot because a little bit goes a long way. Um, it's going to be scented with lavender 4042 essential oil. This one I got from CamdenGray.com. I've never purchased from them before, so this is my first time using this from them. And it smells really amazing, just like the one I've used before from um, Brambleberry. We're going to be using four tablespoons of honey right here and I have already mixed it in with some hot water and that hot water will be deducted from our water recipe or our water part. Also in our lye solution I have some aloe vera as well so you guys really check out the description box down below it has um, the complete details. In this bucket, I have uh, semi-melted oils. There's some coconut butter in there, some palm oil and coconut oil. I'll need to be melting this soon in the microwave. So here's my melted hard oils and cocoa butter. The hard oils I'm using today is coconut and palm. So you guys, when you make soap, melt the hard oils and butter first because after that, you can add in the liquid oils, which should be at room temperature, and then it'll help to cool down your mixture. So now I'm going to add the 26.4 ounces of olive oil, and this is our last oil. So all the oils are in, and next, I'm going to stick blend in the four tablespoon of colloidal oatmeal, the honey, and the essential oil. Like I said before, the main color of this batch will be black and I'll have an accent color of off-white or yellow. And that will come from the main batter color. I won't be coloring the lighter part. Here is my lye solution. You can see it is a bit yellow. Um, and that is because of the aloe vera gel. You can see as I stick blended this batch, um, the color changed to an, a dark orange color. And that is from the additives we put in here, which can heat up like honey because it has sugar in it. Once it hits with the lye, it'll um, turn orange like this from a little bit of scorching, but that is fine. And also there's aloe vera gel. So that's why it's this color now, but it won't be this color in the final batch. So my batter right now is at emulsion and that is when the lye solution and the oils all mix together really really completely. You'll see no oil streaks at the top. 
and emotion is the point right before we reach trace. So I am going to separate this out now, um, just a little bit for accent color. It should turn out off white or a light yellow and the rest of the batch is going to be black. So I put in 1.5 tablespoon of activated charcoal and I hope it's enough. So let's thick blend this and see. Look at this gorgeous black. That's why I love the charcoal from Elements Bath & Body so much. You use only a little bit, like less than you would other suppliers. A little bit goes a long way. You can see I use um, 3 4 tablespoon per batch. That's 1.5 tablespoon per my double batch. And it's so black already. And this is now ready to pour, so I'll do that quickly. to stop and clean that up because I don't want my silicone to stick to the wood but now we can continue so just a little bit of black in both modes and then some of the accent recipe is actually bigger than the mold so that's why even though I spilled some I have plenty left so it I would recommend pouring when it's at thicker trays so that it doesn't spill everywhere you can sculpt the top instead the top right now so you see it's pretty pretty messy and ugly so the magical part of soap making is that you can swirl the top and it'll look just gorgeous watch this so here's how it looks it looks a lot better doesn't it after the chopstick went in um, I still have to clean up the side of the silicone mold but essentially, this is what our soap looked like, and I'm going to insulate this one for sure. Be back in about 24 hours to cut this. See ya! So here's what our soap looks like unmolded. You see how the uncolored part is off-white and not really orange like it was yesterday when I made this. I can't wait to see this cut. Stay tuned. So here's what our cut soap looks like. All 20 bars of them. This is what I love about hanger swirls, you guys, and also in the pot swirl is that you never really know what it's gonna turn out on the inside. And these are looking amazing. I love this. If you guys wanna watch another one of my hanger swirl videos, I'm going to attach it at the upper right hand corner so you guys go check that out if you like this video leave me a thumbs up down below if you have any questions comments if you want to say hi leave that down below also i hope you like this one see you next week you guys have a good one bye